welcome to Pi. We've just arrived, picked up a, a bag of bananas, and that was a pretty horrible journey. Well, well Emma slept most of it, classic. If you sleep, it's good. If you get car sick, you might want to take a little travel drugs and sleeping tablets. Emma literally slept about three out of the three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, it's I was swaying all over the place. Nice, Can't remember the number, but it's something like there are 174 different bends and turns. Yeah. The whole road is a chicane and it's one, it's just one long road. Like this, this is what you like. was asleep, so she was fine. Snoring. We've just walked from where we got dropped off and heading over to the hotel, which I think we're just approaching. And here we are, 106 at, oh, do you want to open the door for me? <laughs> 106 at B2 Premier, uh, B2 Pi Premier Hotel, I think it's called. This is our lovely room. Sink, toilet, shower, bed, big desk, TV, wardrobe, kettle, fridge with bananas, view, terrace, room tour done. Right, first impressions of Pi, go. Like a bit more lively Chiang Mai. Really? It's got Chiang Mai vibes, it's not like Bangkok vibes, is it? It's quiet. Feels a lot smaller, but smells I, worse. It doesn't smell that bad, but I feel there's younger people here. Like it's definitely- Emma really wants to make some friends. <laughs> I'm just bored to go ready. There's definitely more like backpackers. Just had supper at a restaurant called Charlie and Lek. Emma had a Penang curry and I had a Pad Thai. Lovely, fairly cheap, lovely. And now we're off to Walking Street. Around seven or eight pounds. We're off for some breakfast to a place called Oms Garden Cafe. Walking down this rather scenic road, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but at the very end, halfway up the mountain, is the infamous White Buddha, which is pretty cool. We've got our trainers on today because we are planning to moped down to High Canyon. Probably going to involve a little bit of hiking, quite a bit of walking. So we've got on the trainers. Got a little friend, looks a little bit like a fox. Okay, see you later, friend. <laughs> well, you're not going to come into 7 Eleven with us, are you? Good boy. Still with us, Charlie? Yeah. Come on to get some breakfast. <laughs> Charlie, you're not going to be able to come into the, the cafe with us, I'm afraid. But you can wait outside and wait for us. Our noble steed for the next three days. Emma says, sorry, John. Sorry, Mummy and Daddy. Oh. But the roads are empty. The roads are empty and they're very straight. And I'm a very safe biker, driver. But we've now just arrived at what's meant to be Pie Canyon. The thing is though, without one then, we can't just get anywhere, so. Yeah, true. We'd have to spend so much more money on taxis. I don't think taxis are even up here, to be honest. Yeah, they don't have taxis in Pie. The bike was 100 baht a day. Uh, we went to one place first that was really well reviewed and at the end of the half an hour tutorial he gave he wanted to keep our passports or well, my passport and i didn't want to do that so we left a deposit down at this place which is a much better idea <laughs> Right, we've got the first instalment of Emma's facts for this video. She's going to enlighten us with some knowledge of the Pie Canyon, hopefully. <laughs> and she was nearly gone. So, we're currently surrounded by mountains, as you can see, and a population of teak trees. Wonder what teak wood is? I'm guessing they're from these trees. Fact number two. High Canyon geological and topographic features are quite stunning. This unique geographical area has been formed by continuous erosion over decades until reaching the current condition. Still the current condition. The carved narrow ledges and slabs that have survived the erosive actions of the elements have steep 30 meter deep cliff drops and a series of narrow walkways cut on the ridges of giant rock walls that snake out into the densely forested valley. <laughs> now off to the bamboo bridge. 
my turn to enlighten you with some facts. The bridge is called Bun Ko Kuso, yeah. and it's a bamboo bridge that leads to a bamboo temple. The bamboo bridge is almost a kilometre long, and it's suspended a couple of metres above ground level. And the name Kokuso translates into the Bridge of Merit, originally built for the monks at the Bamboo Temple by the locals. Before the bridge, the monks had to walk over six kilometres to reach the village to obtain food. The journey took them a long time as the path led through forests and the rice fields, so as to, in order to make their journey shorter. <laughs> Just found a swing. This is rather nice, isn't it? The bridge does kind of feel like at any point you could fall through it. But we're trusting it and we're walking towards a bamboo temple. I'm not sure if it will be allowed in because we've got our shoulders out and knees out. This is a pretty cool lunch spot. Looking out onto the mountains surrounding Pai. beaten me six times in a row at the game called Head, Poo Head. Humiliation. Humiliation. This is the loser cam. <laughs> Yet again, we've come dressed inappropriately to a, it's not a temple, it's the white Buddha, the, the huge white Buddha halfway up this mountain. But obviously you can't walk there out of respect with your shoulders and your knees out. So what am I doing? So we're having to <laughs> construct a cool outfit for Emma out of our microfiber towels. Do I need a skirt? You might need to tuck it into your, yeah, and then your skirt. Right, can you carry this? Yeah, I'll carry the right side. I can't put that as a skirt, I'm going to look ridiculous. I don't think it will cover my knees. Yeah. You're, You're rocking it. <laughs> like that. We'll go and, go and check. Is this okay? Uh. Yeah? <laughs> okay. I'm going to get away from her. <laughs> I'm not with her. This is the view. And there is a view in itself. You look cool though. Do I? It is so hot, if you can't tell by all the sweat on my forehead. Oh. It's a very impressive view. I think that street over there was the one we walked down at the start of the video when we were walking to breakfast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 48, 49. 50, 240, 88, 1, 8, 2, 83, 84, 92, 93, do we count the last one? Yeah, 94, 294 steps.
rate my technique out of 10. Don't be too harsh. Absolutely knackered. If the GoPro dies, I'm sorry, but we're heading off to a what looks like a fancy restaurant. And one of the reviews says it's a perfect location for date night. So, date night. Okay, cool. There's no one else in the restaurant, but lovely place. Yep, definitely a fancy place. This is the riverfront. Oh, they've got bean bags. Most of the places we, we've been to have been significantly uh, quieter than we, we thought they'd be, mainly because we are traveling in the off season and we did expect it to be quiet, quieter, but I don't think we expected it to be this quiet. But then again, this is like a fancy place in a backpacker area. True. So at best, it's not gonna be, yeah. yeah. It'd be people who want to do our same trip, but maybe like our pets. On less of a budget, <laughs> yeah. Right, now to sit down and enjoy the evening. Wind around the corner, you find different type of room with different theme, and then there's like terrace. managed to get here literally just as the gate opened well, he opened it for us it is 8 3 a.m emma, emma swindred is awake and functioning before nine o'clock i think you can actually buy eggs to boil in the water Disgusting. which is quite strange and here we are i believe okay. what should you do oh. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to be flipping swimming pool floor. Flipping <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell, just put it in. Apparently, the water temperature is 37 degrees. What? What? I think there may be another pool. It's a great morning to come for us because it's quite overcast and the weather forecast says it's meant to rain at around 11 or 12 so probably would dissuade a fair few people from coming over here so we've pretty much got the whole hot springs at the moment to ourselves whoa so this is how the hot springs work looks like there are chambers of water that stretch down to the the magma in the earth and they get heated and the heat rises up to the pockets and up to the hot springs. I think this water, oh yeah, look, it looks like it's boiling. I'm gonna try it. Oh wow, that is far too hot. And just to put into perspective how hot it is, there's a sign here saying, danger zone, do not enter. So I think that's a no from me. And it smells of eggs. As always, just a couple of facts about where we are. This was discovered by the Thapai villagers and the livestock and their mining activities. And during the Second World War, it was used as a Japanese military camp. After the World War, it was used as a place of relaxation and for the study of nature. And if you can see, well, it was bubbling. The bubble, oh, absolutely reeks of egg. <laughs> I think we both strongly recommend coming here at 8 o'clock when the gates open because as you can see there's no one here Thapai Hot Springs you're a pleasure
now back to the hotel to pack our stuff and move on to the next hotel. 106 at B2 Premier Hotel. You're a pleasure. Onwards. And here we are. You have to walk across this treacherous bridge to get to the front door. And this is our bungalow. Oh, <laughs> I've already found a lizard. Yep, I've already got a friend that's hiding somewhere up. Up there. There. Big old bed. I'll show you the view in a minute. Big old mirror. Oh, wardrobe space. Lovely, hair dryer. Lovely. Got a very funky bathroom. It's pretty much outside. Massive mirror, which is pretty cool. Then, like, all concrete. And the outside, it's just there. So potential for there to be quite a few bugs in here. So this is the shower, toilet, bit of art on the wall. And then we've got our deck. That's our view. And this is our deck with a kind of day bed slash bench. But it's very hot. Oh. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight of these bungalows. So we were talking to the lady that showed us around. She said apparently at the moment there are only three rooms being taken up, including ours. So. Not very many people. And it turns out they have a pool as well. It's just guarded by a very moody dog. So Emma's not here with me because it was barking just a minute ago. <laughs> if you're wondering, this was, it was like £8.50 a night, which is not bad going, is it? It's pretty good. Let's see if this dog barks at me. Hey! I think we're now gonna head off for some food because we haven't eaten yet. And it's 20 past 11. We're at a place called Coffee in Love. About a 50 minute drive from our hotel with a, an amazing view. Nothing like a bit of a weird Thai breakfast and a Pad Thai to start the day. Looking good though, with your helmet on. <laughs> Safety at all times for Emma. We're going to try and get to town on the moped before it starts pouring. There's already been a fair share of rain. We made it. Returned the motorbike. Got the deposit back. All good. Can't remember the name of the place, otherwise I would shout it out and give it a recommendation. And now we're sitting in a place called Welcome Cafe. Emma's got a peach iced tea, Earl and I've Grey got tea. Earl Grey iced tea, and I've got the smallest flat white I think I've ever seen. Looks good though. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, thank, thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning. We've just booked our next lot of travel to Laos. We've got a, a slow boat package, which picks us up from Pai, and we stay one night in Chang Kong and then take a slow boat for two days and end up in Luang Prabang. So that should be interesting. Leaving tomorrow at half six. Ooh. Ooh. spot to get on with some editing and just have a bit of chill time. This is our last full day in Pai and I'm trying to get the video edited and uploaded this afternoon because as you saw in the previous clip we've just booked our travel that starts tomorrow to head over to Laos. So this has been a little bit of a shorter video compared to the first two. Pai has been delightful and very chilled again i hope you've enjoyed this episode as always i'll be picking up the camera to start the next episode which is our journey to lao which should be very interesting we've had different reviews for the the boat trip most of which saying 
that is quite sweaty and uncomfortable. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Bye bye.